Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, life is full of frustrating stepping stones that lead you to a better path. Now I know you're thinking right now, yeah, whatever. How come some people have no problems getting what they want and you seem to fight against all odds to get even the smallest things happening for you? Well, sometimes it's just about manifesting and believing that you deserve a certain thing in your life. It's also about being optimistic and believing you can achieve it. This is something I fought with for many years, not understanding what was going on. And probably the most thing that was happening to me was that I was doubting myself for allowing things to come towards me. I'm saying, well, that's not going to happen. How's that going to happen? I don't have the money for this. How am I going to bring this towards me when I just don't have the resources? Right there, that is shunning something coming towards you because you don't believe you deserve it. And I'm guilty of that. I'm better now and I am practicing it. So I'm not just preaching it here. The thing is when you're optimistic about what you want in your life and you continue to go forward, don't hold on to the stuff that hasn't worked out for you. You continue to keep moving and understanding why you had to go through that stepping stone. Because that stepping stone taught you maybe a little bit more about you, what you want, but it also told you maybe what you didn't want. And both of those things are good because it helps you visualize and understand what it is you want. What is important to you with your future, with your business, with your love life, with your friendships, anything that is a big part of your life. You want it to flow. You want it to be a nice fit. When you appreciate your life and the small things that transpire that might not be the best, you understand that, okay, this is the way life is. This is what happens. When I'm given these things to deal with, I now know what I have to do. It's not working this way. How am I going to make it better? You sit down and you resolve the conflict or whatever happened that didn't take place. You resolve it in an intellectual and mature way because you say to yourself, but I really truly want this for myself. So what am I going to do to improve things so I can get there? You look into things, you do your homework, you ask for help. You just put yourself forward as much as possible by not dwelling on what didn't happen. Too many people spend so much time thinking about what didn't transpire, what didn't work out, and they get frustrated. Well, life is full of these frustrating stepping stones. That's why I wanted to do this video because we all go through them. And yes, some people you look at, they look like the, everything just flows for them. Well, sometimes it flows for them because they've already had their crap to deal with. They found out what works and now it's going. You always hear about those over, uh, you know, oh, that person, they're an overnight success. They're not an overnight success. Most of the time they have put 10 to 20 years into something that they're going for. It's just now it's happening for them. So it looks like it just was a really quick situation. Most of the time, when you look at anybody who's successful, they've all had their hard knocks. If you look into their life, I can tell you that probably 75% of them had to go through a lot of crap to get where they are now. So rather than be jealous and envy who they are, follow maybe what they did. Look and see how they got to where they are. What did they do to make their life better? What stepping stones did they go through and what was the end result for them? How did they finally get what they were looking for? Unfortunately, sometimes what we do is we play a bit of the victim role as to why things aren't happening for us. And we get frustrated and we vent our, our anger or our hurt or sadness about why isn't this happening? Believe me, I've mentioned a few things in my situation and I get frustrated with myself for even thinking that way. You have to train your head to think differently. You have to be appreciative for some of the things you do have. That's your first step to getting what you want. When you are grateful for even the small things in your life and you 
speak about this and you say out loud, I'm really grateful for this, you do tend to find more things happen for you because you appreciate it. When you're mad or you're, you're sort of throwing things out there about how you're angry about what isn't happening, haven't you noticed you just get more of the same? Because you're not learning. You're not sitting back saying, okay, well, what am I going to do? Why am I getting mad at the universe when I'm the one in charge here? What am I going to do to change this? I'm sure that you felt the remnants of a heartbreak that's still stuck in here. So even if you're going for a career goal or something other else you're looking for, and there's still a little bit of your heart that's broken from something in the past, that can also stop you from achieving what you really want because you're letting that part of your your whole mentality, everything, take over having happiness in your life. Maybe because you don't feel you deserve it. Maybe you're just really mad about what happened. And so if you're harboring any resentment or any fear of feelings of rejection or anything like that, that can also play a big part in why things don't work out for you. You have to clear your conscience, clear your mind of these nagging cobwebs from past situations. Because why are you letting them control who you are moving ahead? I mean, think about it. It makes sense, doesn't it? If you're holding on to stuff that you're angry about, you're not going to be happy going in another direction because your whole thought process is stuck in that place. You've got to say to yourself, okay, I had a hurdle. I had a stepping stone. I'm going to move in a better direction. How am I going to do that? I'm going to change my thinking. I'm going to be smarter and I'm going to be appreciative of what I learned along the way because now it's taking me to a place of where I want to go. The important thing to understand here is that stepping stones are really a good thing. They allow you to have new experiences. They allow you to have growth. Do you want to stay on a treadmill and just do the same thing every day? have a routine that never changes, how boring would that be? Chalk up these situations that happen to you as a learning curve and say to yourself, wow, okay, maybe not really where I wanted to go, but I'm, I'm glad I understand that I don't need that in my life or that doesn't serve me. Now I know what does serve me and what I'm looking for. One way to handle the hard knocks of life is to deal with the emotions that come with them. Allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to be mad, allow yourself to be hurt, but allow yourself for forgiveness to move on that maybe you chose a situation that wasn't great for you, but don't beat yourself up about it and don't beat somebody else up mentally about it because they were there for the ride and it didn't work out. You chose the situation, so you have to own that and allow yourself that forgiveness and just say, okay, well, you know, that one didn't work out, that situation, but now I'm so much closer to knowing what's going to work for me. And that's the direction I'm headed in. The important thing to take out of this video today is not to repeat painful lessons. Look at the good that came out of it. Understand why you were meant to go through that situation and take that painful lesson or it may be not painful, it just might have been a hard situation to deal with. And just take it and say, okay, what's the pros and cons? What did I learn here? What, what did I gain out of this? Because there's always something you gained. A lot of people don't think that way. They always think that it was just all the bad stuff that went with it. But there were good things because that's what led you there. But take the good things that you learned from that, leave the negative stuff in the past, and take that other, the good stuff forward. And just keep doing that every time with every stepping stone and you will learn much quicker and understand what's working for you. Always ask for help, ask for guidance because sometimes we can't do everything all by ourselves and we need some support. That's okay to ask for that. I find another problem is everybody wants instant gratification and so this is another reason they have a hard time not understanding why something didn't work out because they want it now. It doesn't happen for most people that way. As I said earlier, a lot of really successful people had to scrape their way along the bottom too. And it's just the way it is. The quicker you learn how to 
understand the scenario, what you got out of it, what you t were taught, is when you will find the, uh, the better path for you. Just if you keep repeating things over and over again, then you're just gonna get the same results. So we all know how that works out. Trying new things just enhances your life and it's a good way to live. And eventually you will get there. Just have faith and believe in yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video and leave any show topic ideas you have. I'm always looking for new show topics. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.